Hi everyone, welcome back. So today is Sunday. Um, it's been a really snowy week here in Essex in the UK. I feel like I've had really bad cabin fever. So many of my plans got canceled this week. Spent a lot of time indoors. I just feel a little bit drained from the UK weather right now. And I think everyone's kind of on the same page, like snow was fun the first time, but it's been about the 10th time that it's snowed in the last few months here, it's crazy. But today, thankfully, it looks like it's all melted away. We did pop out yesterday, we went to the cinema and we went to see a film called Lady Bird. It was so good, it was such an easy watch and it wasn't a massively long film, which I like. I don't like it when films like drag on for hours. Yeah, and it was good, but it didn't really feel like we got out enough because we just kind of went from our home to the cinema. <laughs> um, but the roads were fine yesterday, so I think the roads are pretty much going to be fine today as well. Anyway, I have been making a little list in my diary of some of the places that I want to go to this year. And I find doing that's like really helpful, especially on days like today where... We just feel like we want to get out, we want to do something and rather than kind of sitting around and being like, oh, what should we do today? Like, let's think of some ideas. I always refer back to my little list and last weekend we went to Columbia Road Flower Market, which was on my list and that was really fun and we went to a few different plant shops in East London and yeah, just ate some nice vegan food and oh, by the way, if you haven't checked out the Doe Society in Hackney, I really recommend it. It was amazing. It's just like a little uh, coffee shop, donut shop, all vegan. And it was probably the best donut I've ever had. It was amazing. And they're dog friendly too. And it was just such a lovely way to spend like a Sunday afternoon, just like mooching around London, mooching some plant and flower shops and going to the flower market. It was freezing though. This was before the snow hit. So it was like ice cold. It was really challenging to walk around in, but also so much fun. So today I've decided that I really want to go to the Barbican Conservatory. I don't think I've ever been there before, or if I have, I don't really remember it, but it looks like a plant lover's dream. It's just full of indoor plants, tropical plants, cacti, succulents. It just looks amazing. And it looks like it would be so nice to photograph and just spend some time walking around. And because it's like the city of London, um, it's not too far from where we live, so we can drive in. And yeah, I just think it'll be a really nice way to spend a Sunday. And they're actually only open on selected Sundays. So if you do watch this video and fancy going yourself, definitely go on their website and check out what Sundays they're actually open. Because I know as well that it's like an event space and it gets hired out for like weddings and stuff. So it's not open every Sunday either. So when I checked online yesterday, it's open today, but it's actually not open next Sunday, which is Mother's Day. So I was like, right, we need to go today. Um, otherwise I feel like we're gonna miss out. So yeah, that's where we're off to. Another kind of plant conservatory type place I want to go to is Kew Gardens. Um, we went to the winter show at Kew Gardens, the winter lights display thing and that was incredible it was such a great night I really if you've never been I'd put it in your diary this November to get online and book tickets because that was such a nice event and I definitely want to go again this year just need to let my cats in yeah and aside from that kind of nighttime Christmassy visit I've not really been to Kew Gardens that much but even just from going that night, I thought, oh, this is definitely somewhere I want to come back to when the weather's a bit nicer and I want to come back during the day and explore what like plants and stuff they have there. And I believe they have a couple of really big conservatories there. The massive, famous Victorian one as well, which is currently under renovation until May, I think. So I might hold off on queue until May because it's a trek from where I live. And I feel like if I go, I want to go when the big Victorian conservatory is open as well. So I think I'm going to hold off on that one till summer. So basically, in short, today has presented itself as the perfect day to go to the Barbican. Um, I know they've got a really nice cafe there as well, so we'll probably just get lunch there and I might have a look on, in the car on the way down to see what exhibitions are on there. Um, but mainly we're just going to the, like, the conservatory and we'll see where the wind takes us. Sadly, it's not dog friendly, so you guys have to stay here. I really wish more places were dog friendly. Like today 
is the exact kind of day. I wouldn't want to take all three of my dogs along because they'd be a nightmare, but like last weekend, we just took Suki along with us to Columbia Road Flower Market. And it was just really nice like one-on-one -on -one time with her. And I think if you've got like multiple dogs, it's really nice to sometimes split them up and just take like one out for one-on-one -on -one time. And it's Zen's turn next. And today would have been perfect for little Zen to come with us. Um, and I could have easily carried him around. He would be so easy to smuggle in there, to be honest. I could probably put him in a bag or something, but I'm just putting my shoes on. Um, I just can't be bothered to get all the way down there and then for them to be like, oh no, you can't come in with him. So they're gonna have to stay here. They've not been too keen on wanting to go out like in the cold and the snow anyway. This light is really weird. So I think they're quite happy just like chilling on the bed, but I do get like dog owner's guilt, like <laughs> I want to take one of them out with me today. Um, but they've got it lucky. We're here all the time. We both work from home. Um, they get a lot of attention from us. So, you know, but I think in a way that makes me feel more guilty, like when we do have to go out and do something. So hopefully it's not gonna take us too long to get there today. I think it's like half an hour or something. Um, and I really like going into London on Sundays because it's just really quiet and well, I say really quiet, it's not really quiet, um, but it's significantly quieter than it is during the week. And also ugh, the parking restrictions and stuff, if you're driving in, tend to be void on a Sunday, which is really good. But I think the Barbican has a dedicated car park, so we shouldn't have any trouble parking. Yeah, so let me know what the snow's been like where you are, if you're in the UK. Um, here in Essex we had quite a lot to be honest and today's the first day it's kind of all melted away so fingers crossed plans and stuff won't be being cancelled next week and things will like return back to normality a little bit hopefully. Stalking the hood out. So we've arrived we've just parked the car um, the Barbican actually has its own car park, which is really cool, makes it even easier. And we're just going to try and find the conservatory now. Andy just said this is like our living room. Not quite. I wish. Look at that giant monstera up there. Oh yeah. That is massive, isn't it? The edges are all a bit brown. What's this, Andy? It's a lovely Norse tongue. <laughs> They've trained you well. <laughs> that looks cool. This is just epic.
heaven right now. <laughs> I'd be quite happy if my house looked like this. This is why we need to get our extension conservatory. Oh, so you can fill it up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> could make it look exactly like this, couldn't we? You could have a corner. Okay. Cool, no, no, no I'd want it really exactly. It's trying to get out. This cactus has grown so tall, it's actually cracked the window. I said it was trying There's to There's another out. one up there as well that like, looks like it's going through the glass. So cute, you can have afternoon tea here as well. Did you enjoy your time at the uh, conservatory? It's good, thank you. It was really good. It's good. I had a great time. Ooh. We got to pay for parking. Here. You and your element. Yeah, I basically wanted to move in. Such a cool place just to go and have like a little mooch around, take some photographs, although it was pretty busy and it was like an Instagrammer's paradise. So it was like everyone was desperate to get the Instagram and people were like trying to barge each other out of the way and stuff. It was uh, quite intense at times. I've got a couple of good pictures for my Instagram and obviously took you guys along with us as well. Hope you enjoyed the ride. And yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's been really painless just driving into the city today. Car park right underneath. Couldn't be easier really. So I forgot to mention that that was actually free to get inside. Um, I think we paid one pound for the little map thing which we didn't really need but it's like a donation I suppose isn't it um yeah so that was free to go into the conservatory but the car parking was about nine pounds it's been like a couple of hours um yeah so ten pound for a, a lovely Sunday afternoon out it's pretty good pretty good going Andy loves the bargain <laughs> he loves a bargain adventure. Where are you going? He also loves driving around in circles and getting us lost and not following the sat nav. These flats, look, they're so cool. They've all got loads of like window boxes and. They're actually flats. Yeah. So yesterday I popped into HomeSense and I found a really nice plant pot. Um, I'll show you it when we get back. It's like a basket and it's on three wooden legs. Um, but I don't actually have a plant to put in it so we are going to stop off on the way back at this shop we actually went to last weekend called Flower Warehouse and it's on Cambridge Heath Road in Hackney, London and it's a really lovely plant shop and price wise it wasn't too bad actually I think I did pick up a little plant pot and succulent in there last week but I'm, I know the plant that I'm looking for in my head I just don't know what it's called it's got kind of like long green leaves and almost like white polka dots on it and I can't think what it's called but I know it will look a really good in that pot so fingers crossed they've got one in there if not it might have to be a trip to Periwood soon okay so this is the shop I found last week It was cash only and I've only got a card on me and they didn't have the plant that I was looking for so I'm just going to pop back around the corner to another shop I went to last week called Conservatory Archives and this shop is major <laughs> it's got so many plants in it's actually quite difficult to navigate around but I'm just gonna have a quick look just to see if they've got this plant that I'm after
They didn't have what I wanted again in there. They had loads of plants in there though. Loads. Oh, time to go home. Tiredness has kicked in.